Hey guys, time for some more uh, Q&A with Christian. <laughs> and you might see my brother in the background unless I do this. There, stay still. There we go. <laughs> now you can't see him. And that's my little brother Daniel. He's, he's not. He's not as little as the last time I saw him. So, <laughs> fun having him here. He's kind of shadowing me for the next few days. All right, so let me jump into some questions. This is just a collection of questions that have come in on Facebook or email over the last uh, week or so. I'm going to run through the list in no particular order. This might answer some questions you have, might answer questions that people in your team have. If it's something that you feel is uh, useful and, and worth sharing with your group, have at it. All right, let's dive in. So first question, is there a more concise video other than the hour-long Everybody Wins video about Doobly or Wukar that I can use. Um, <clears throat> there are quite a few video options right now. If you aren't aware of the Hangout schedule at TeamWukar.com, um, go log into TeamWukar.com and look at the Hangout schedule. You'll see recorded resources there along with the uh, current schedule for live events. Um, we continually have new content coming out of the team all the time. So go poke around in there and, and look for something that jumps out at you. Um, the other response I have to this, um, I can only offer to people that are personally sponsored by me, um, just for time constraint reasons. Um, so if you're watching this, you're personally sponsored by me and you're asking this question, is there a more concise video that I could use? Uh, the answer is absolutely yes, let's create it. I wanna, I wanna do it with you. Hit me on Facebook or email to request a time for a hangout. I'll coach you on this, and by the time we're done, uh, we'll, you'll have a 10, maybe 11 or 12 minute video that you can start using um, as your intro video from now on, okay? Um, next question, if I have my own YouTube channel, can I post Team Wukar videos that I did not make? Um, no, you can't do that. You shouldn't do that. The truth is you can, but you shouldn't. Um, YouTube doesn't like duplicate content and uh, we have compliance uh, terms of service and within the team that prohibit that kind of stuff. Truth is, you're wasting your time doing that stuff anyway. I see, I see marketers doing that stuff and it's, um, it doesn't help you. So I would avoid that. Can I take, and the next question, can I take bits and pieces of other people's doobly videos and edit them, thereby creating original content and upload them? As long as you have people's permission, sure, um, no problem. Uh, I've, I'm in a couple videos out there that are bits and pieces kind of stitched together with music and stuff. No problem. Um, the people that have done that, generally they, they ask permission and I have no problem giving permission. I don't think any of the guys really have a problem giving permission. Um, as a courtesy, show them your final product. Whoever you're grabbing content from, show them your final product before you make it public. Just make sure they don't have any issues uh, with, the, with the content that you're, that you're putting together and you should be fine. Um, next question, do you have any email swipes to use when sending videos and follow-ups that you can recommend? Um, yes, <clears throat> I'm not fancy. Um, for any of you that work, have worked with me, you know. I'm not big into fancy formatting or um, anything like that. I have some very basic um, stuff that I use in my own follow-up. If you would like to get the most recent version of what I personally use, let's do this, send me an email my email address is newdad28 at gmail.com, newdad28 at gmail. Um, send me an email with the subject line of send me all your stuff, okay? And you can just, you don't have to put anything in the body, just hit go on that email. My assistant will be on the lookout for um, requests like that. Um, you will literally get an email from me with the subject line of all, all my stuff. And this is a collection of the links I use, the links that I like the most right now. Um, at the bottom of that email is a little blurb. It's maybe three, four paragraphs at the bottom, real short paragraphs. And that's what I use um, when I'm following up with somebody. Um, when I'm on the phone or on Facebook and somebody's asking me for, inform for more information on Deeply, that's what I send them. So if you don't have a current version of that, just ask and we'll get that to you. Um, next question. Uh, it's kind of redundant, but the next question is what recent videos do you recommend to send people about Doobly and Wukar? 
dig through and watch it, watch stuff yourself and look for something that resonates, look for something that you like. And I'd just use what you like. Um, again, if you want to shoot in all my stuff or send me all your stuff, email, you can see what I like. You're welcome to use those. Next question, I see your link, cashback.wiki, goes straight to your business site for Doobly Network. That's correct. Did you buy a domain for that? Yes, I did. Cashback.wiki cashback is my domain. All I do is I forward that domain to my signup page for, for Doobly, for Doobly Network. And the next, the rest, the rest of the question here, and for your refer a friend link to your customer side on Doobly, yes, um, getcashback.link is my customer link. So I bought two domains for my, for my business, one for the BA side, one for the customer side. Um, should I buy a domain, one for business and one for customers that sends them right to your signup page? I would, if I were you. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of people like GoDaddy. If you haven't gotten domains before, you might go look at Namecheap, just like it sounds, namecheap.com. Um, they also do 12% cash back or maybe 13% cash back, I can't remember. Uh, but they are in the portal. So if you need to go get domains, um, I'd go there if I were you. That's I've used Namecheap for years. Um, side note, if you, have, if you haven't done this kind of thing before and you don't have experience here, please don't ask me questions related to how to set up a domain, how to forward a domain, how to do anything with a domain. Go to YouTube and you can learn answers. You can see on video how to, how to forward a domain, how to forward and mask a domain. Whatever you want to learn is, is 10 seconds away on YouTube. So um, be the leader in your business. Um, do, that, do that little bit of research. Don't bring me those kind of questions, okay? Um, you'll see. That's how I've learned. A ton of ton of the little things I've learned, I learned on YouTube. Okay, next question. Do you recommend sending out one message that talks about both the business opportunity and the cashback opportunity? Yes. Or should those be kept separate? I might miss out on recruiting a BA by not letting someone know that it's not only a cashback program, but they can also join the business. Yeah, <clears throat> my thought on this since the beginning is that cashback is the foundation of what we have. I bring it up no matter who I'm talking to. Um, I start there, matter of fact. I always start with the cash back. Um, and then I follow that up with with uh, business discussion. That was weird. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Computer screen just, I don't know what happened. Everything's going to be okay. But uh, <laughs> um, I would not keep those separate unless... The only example I can think of a, a, a case where I would keep it separate is if you know for sure, for some reason, that the person you're about to reach out to, either you don't want to work with them at all ever, you wouldn't mind having them as a customer, but you don't want to work with them. In that case, yeah, don't say anything about the business. <laughs> if, um, But outside of a real spe uh, specific situation like that, I would always talk about both. Um, if you're a personal recruit of mine and we make one of those videos that I mentioned earlier, you'll see that's what I do. I do about five minutes on the, vi on the customer side and two or three minutes on the business side and we end up with a nine or ten minute video most of the time. That's really nice. So that's, that's my thinking on that. Next question, I was told that if I didn't give away my VIP vouchers that came with my package, I could sell them. That's true. You can, get, you can do it if they're yours. You can sell them, you can give them away, you can sell them at half price. You do whatever you want. Do we just collect the money on our own? Yep. Um, for me, I had I had most of my friends just PayPal me money. You can have them give you cash, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's up to you. Um, the person does not pay for it online, and the voucher is taken out of your inventory only when you actually issue it. So let's say you want to give a voucher to Joe. You got to log in at doublynetwork.com, click on the voucher tab and you'll see your voucher options open up there. You can choose to issue whatever kind of voucher you're dealing with. Um, most of us deal with the, the full value $99 national, I think is what they're called now, uh, vouchers. Um, so you can issue whatever kind of voucher you want. All you need is their name and email address. You put those in the boxes on your page, hit submit, and you have just issued somebody a voucher. It's up to you then to collect the money if there is money involved. Um, you know, that's totally up to you. Okay, next question, checking my time. 
uh, if I started as a VIP member and then upgraded to a business associate, do I get my $99 back or is that gone? Okay, let me deal with that question first. This is a multi-part <coughs> question it looks like here. So if you started as a VIP member, and then you jumped into the business, you don't want your 99 bucks back. You want to be a customer. Um, let, me, let me be really clear on this. Business associates with Doobly aren't also necessarily customers. There is no customer thing included. They're totally separate. So if I signed up my brother in the business right now, he'd be in the business and he would not be a customer unless, unless he used one of his own vouchers or I set him up as a customer. Generally what I would do is I would advise him to use one of his own vouchers so that he can be his own customer. So that not only is he getting cash back, but he's making commission on his purchases as well. Okay. Um, so let me, let me say it this way too. Let's just pretend you've been a VIP member. You heard about Dubly three months ago from somebody totally unrelated to the team. You've been their customer for the last three months. Now you're hearing about the business. You join us in the business and you want to be your own customer, no problem. Don't ask for a refund. Submit a support ticket to Doobly, not to Wukar, to Doobly. And uh, all you got to do is ask them to connect your customer account to your business account and give them a few days, maybe a week to get that done. It's not an urgent thing. You know, let them get that done when they get it done and you'll be good to go. Okay. Um, Okay, the rest of the question somebody asked was, do I then have one more voucher to give away instead of using it myself? Yes, in this case, you would have an extra voucher. I know that I will have to get support. I know that I will have to get support to my... I'm not sure what they're trying to say here. <clears throat> okay, I, I think I answered that. Uh, next question, how often are commissions paid? <clears throat> we're in the middle of a big change right now, so commissions were only paid monthly. Uh, as we finalize the transition into the binary, which is happening today or tomorrow, uh, we will all be getting paid weekly on the front end stuff, which means anything to do with building your team, you're going to get paid weekly. I don't know what day. Um, I don't know the details. We'll, we'll get details from corporate soon. Um, and then all of your back end money, all of your customer money will come out once a month. I believe 15th, something like the way it's, it's been happening. Okay, so that's how commissions are paid. Uh, any news now on what the credits will be worth? Okay, I'm, I'm assuming this is talking about rotator credits or points. Um, nope, I don't have any news on that. Um, I know the guys are working on it. Uh, my attitude on this stuff at this point is a lot of us have hoped that this would be out months ago. We talked about it like it was gonna be out months ago. Um, different people in the team knew for sure it was going to be out months ago. As we all know, it's still not out. Um, I'm trying to adopt an under promise over deliver philosophy as much as, you know, as much as we can. The reality is people were already promised that it would be done by now and it's not. And, uh, that's not because a group of people haven't been working as hard as they can to get it done because that that's been happening. It's just not ready. It's not tested enough to give us uh, values on points or credits. So I'm sorry I can't be specific in an answer, but we just don't have the info still. Um, is there a time when we will know how many credits it takes to get a customer or a BA? There is a time, but it's not yet. It's coming. I'm, I'm sorry that we don't have a clear answer on that still. Okay, next question. I'm running into some people who have read things on the internet about Dubly not paying. Yeah, um, I get that question weekly, probably. What is a quick and effective response to let them know that customers get paid? Um, <clears throat> oh boy, um, I have a couple thoughts on this. And I don't know, it depends on who's asking you the question. If it's a network marketer who's asking the question, they should know better. Um, let them know that you know, big names that have really been around the block and made millions of dollars in MLM over the years are here actively working with Doobly. Me and a lot of my high caliber friends would not be here. We would not have made a move three and a half, four months ago if Doobly didn't pay. If there was any real validity to that question, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> uh, Doobly pays. They've been around 11 years. They're publicly traded. Seriously? That's kind of my response. So I hope that helps. I'll see you around.